is I booked the wrong place. And there was such a gargantuan amount of food. So I have now picked up my bags. Um, the hostel were really lovely, so when I turned up, they were offering free food, they were offering free drinks, they were really welcoming, they were absolutely lovely, lovely people. Um, and as I turned up to go and check out, um, where they've already put the bags outside for me, like ready, they also said I could go for a shower, which was great, and they were so, so kind. They even followed the channel, um, so I highly recommend uh, that anybody coming to Bohol um, and Pangalau definitely, definitely stay here. Oh, but the, it's a Mingche, the, I think it's the Mingche Resort or Mingche Apartments, but I will put the name up in the corner now. Definitely, definitely stay here. The hospitality is second to none. Um, it's been really, really great and probably one of the most hospitable places I've stayed at in Asia so far. It's off to Shargao, but first a stopover in Cebu. So we will get a one and a half hour ferry and we picked the public ferry this time uh, which actually cost us about seven pounds to get over there. We spend the night in Cebu and then tomorrow there is an overnight ferry to Siragao, I hope I pronounced that right. And then the day after that we will head over to Shargao because you have to make the connection. And then we have a few connections to make about a week after that to go to our next destination, which is great. True Filipino style ferries. Just got off the uh, boat at Cebu. We had a really fun time getting here because I booked the wrong place uh, to get the actual boat from. So that's me 30 quid down. Great stuff. Um, we'll tell you all about it when we get back to the hotel probably or I will put it in a little update later on when I'm less pissed off and I've had a beer. We are now in Cebu, uh, we've just took a night uh, to come here and basically that's Sheila in the back. Um, we've taken a night to basically stay here and then travel the next day to Argao. So that's probably what you'll see next because we've got to get on another ferry and then another ferry and we're just going here, which is apparently Filipino food as chosen by Sheila, who's going to show us some good Filipino food. So it better yeah. be good. So guys, we stopped for a bit of food here at Paulito's, which is a traditional Filipino family restaurant where you can pick up favorites like curry curry, pancit, adobo, a lot of really, really good hearty food, which I completely recommend. The prices are also really, really agreeable and it's well worth going if you're over in the Philippines and if you're in Cebu, just to get a really, really good meal in with lots of Filipino favorites. So we have just finished our food, which was yep. largely paid for by our fantastic host, who has been amazing, who would not accept any money, but we gave her money anyway. Um, it was such a gargantuan amount of food that yeah. we have taken it in, in a bag. We've got a massive bag. bag of it. So we will, we will be eating that on the ferry over to uh, Sirigal, um, which is the overnight ferry, which takes, I think it's from nine till seven in the morning. Yeah, we'll get there at 7am and oh, then uh, get another ferry from 10am yeah. and then the uh, uh, Shargao happens about half 11. So we're currently in a different uh, shopping mall. Which shopping mall is this called? SM. SM. Yeah. SM. Um, we were previously in Ayala, um, which is on our other Cebu videos um, from when we were here last time. Um, it's uh, just another shopping mall. There's also one called... Seaside, which is the biggest one, which you can actually ride an electric bike through. Just a bit of fact for you. But yeah, we will see you probably next time that anything cool happens, or if we're on the ferry boring our asses off, waiting to arrive in Sierra Gal. Bye. Bye. Our next stop was to Shargao Island, which is positioned on the east side of the Philippines just over from Cebu and it is absolutely picturesque, beautiful and everything you'd associate with what you see in the movies with in regards to a paradise island. It has loads of rock pools, palm trees and just everything you want for that sort of environment. It is full of great vibes, great food and party nightlife. 
if you are traveling there, just a word of warning, we would advise to get a plane for a little bit of extra money. It's not the total budget option like we went on. However, it's completely advised as you'll be spending 10 hours plus on a ferry and then the combined one and a half hour longer on a ferry just to go from Siragao to Shargao, it's really not convenient or ideal unless you want to catch up with work or you want to edit or you want the true budget option just to save that little bit of money if the flight prices are high. But I do advise just in this instance to take that little bit extra just to get a flight. So we spent the uh, day in Cebu. Uh, now we are it's currently about 1.15 and we're currently on the ferry over to uh, Surigao um, so this is the first ferry uh, which we got on at 9 o'clock and we'll get to Surigao at 7 um, not much time to sleep, it's pretty loud in the room that we're in um, we're only in the uh, seating area. Um, we'll get there hopefully on time and then we'll catch our other ferry at 10. Uh, they go to Shog out. Uh, not much is happening. The moon is out. It actually looks bigger than that. That's just small. I fly to the moon. I shrink the moon. She's going to give you a little update. Um, very tiring. It's not that great, but hopefully soon we'll be there. It'll be a beautiful island, and we can all say that it's worth it. It'll be great. But yeah, there's your little update. Yeah. Alright guys, just got off the port at uh, Sirigal, uh, and we've got now a three hour wait. And to check in our other tickets to go to Shogal, so that's going to be really, really fun. Just trying to go off now. Aaron's still alive. I'm Gabrielle in the bed, who's endured the service with us, and we will chat to you probably when we get coffee. And we have made it to Shargal. Uh, we got off the ferry this morning. The second ferry wasn't as pleasant. Lots of cockroaches. Um, you'll find that when you come to the Philippines uh, and other places as well, like Vietnam buses. Um, so not great, but. Also in Cambodia. Yes, big ones. Um, but we're here, uh, ready to uh, see what Shargal has to offer. It's still hot, it's very, very hot at the moment. It's just the only setting is hot. So we're gonna try it and go get some drinks and some food now. So Hello boy. The pirate buggy because it's only got one eye. Meow. How nice this is. And then that ruins the shot. Now you might be asking yourself what there is to do on the island and that is a good question because over the last five or so years this island has been gaining mass popularity as being one of the number one surfing locations in the Philippines. Case in point, due to the sea that surrounds it being the perfect for those big waves. Also on the island, there are many spots in which you can free dive. This gives you great opportunity to obviously pick up the licenses in order to do this so you can free dive at other great locations. I have had many, many good reviews from Filipinos and travelers alike. And if you just want to travel around by land, there are also opportunities to do this by moped or even e-bike. If you want to see the island in all its beauty and travel around the whole entirety of it, this makes for an absolutely great activity day out.
So guys, that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to like and subscribe. And for those of you who have supported our journey so far, we are eternally grateful. We really appreciate it. And we've got so much great content coming your way. So please do tune in in the future. That'll be all from us. See you later.